Diana Medeiros, it's uh, sunshine. The colors, they're bright, and it just makes you feel like uh, it's a sunny day. When I'm having a bad day because it's cloudy outside, I can look at one of her beautiful paintings and be happy again. They're just bright and colorful, and they, they bring out good feelings in people. Diana not only is a great artist and, and uh, is a great promoter of, of Tucson, but she also goes out and helps people. When I have the brush in my hand, I am transported to another reality. Many of us fantasize about following a dream, pursuing a passion, changing our lives. Diana Medeiros has actually done so. In 1993, Diana was on the fast track running Marathon Marketing, a high-profile sports promotion company in Tucson, Arizona, when a creative yearning like a siren song led her to Greece and an intensive month-long workshop on painting. I could focus 100% on art, and it was just mentally a place that I'd never been before. It was so inspiring. It was euphoric. I couldn't sleep at night. I would see colors and paintings in my, in my mind. And I came back from that trip, and I knew that I wanted to be a professional artist. Diana immersed herself in painting, studying with well-known artists across the country. Within three years, she sold her marketing business and soon after opened her own gallery. Today, Diana is a signature member of the Southern Arizona Watercolor Guild. Her work hangs in the world-renowned Miraval Resort and has been featured at the Tucson Museum of Art. Diana has found her niche. This is really where I'm supposed to be. This is what I'm supposed to do. I get totally lost in my work, which is a joyful experience. Nestled in the foothills of Tucson is the spacious Medaris Gallery, a light and airy place filled with vibrant originals, reproductions, tiles, and boxed note cards. Loyal gallery patrons include the city's mayor, who decorated his office with Diana's art. When I first became mayor, it was fairly drab and dingy, so I decided we need color and flash, and uh, I called Anna, and uh, we must have a dozen or more. Very proud of it. It's very uplifting art. Um, while somewhat abstract, it captures the desert scenes in particular, the rocks and cacti of the desert, um, and the colors are so unique and full that it just uh, gives you a rosy feeling all over. I like to to put the strokes down um, with confidence in a bold way uh, with bright colors and that has all to do with this feeling of joyfulness while I'm painting. Diana paints both watercolor and acrylic, mediums as different as night and day. When you paint with watercolor, first of all you have to decide where you're going to leave the whites. There is no white on your palette in watercolor, so there's a tremendous amount of pre-planning that has to go into a painting. Also, you're painting from light to dark in watercolor. You put your lights down first and then your shadows and your darks. With acrylic, you put your darks down first and then your, your lights or highlights, they come last, and you can paint over a mistake. So it's a much more forgiving medium and they feel quite different when you're painting with them. Artists know they've done their job when their work connects at an emotional level. Jorge Simmons just received this painting called Goliath as an anniversary gift from his wife. It's a very nice composition because it's very spontaneous and at the same time everything is right. Diana doesn't just paint horses, she loves them passionately. You're my good girl. Every day is, a, is an adventure when you go out and you're around horses. She's an accomplished equestrian whose spirit is renewed by spending time with her horses. When I'm with my horse, I don't think about anything else, nothing else. I'm in the moment, really, when I'm, when I'm with the horse. I have a real connection with animals, and I always have. 
my dad and my brother are veterinarians. My sister uh, does an animal show in New Jersey on TV. And I've had a, a, an extremely strong connection to animals all my life. To carry on the family tradition of helping animals, Diana formed Art for Animals, a nonprofit foundation dedicated to preventing animal abuse and helping abuse victims like Boo. This little poodle mix was rescued from an abusive home where her leg was violently shattered. Art for Animals paid thousands of dollars of medical bills to heal the hurt. The Ludwig family adopted Boo. She brings so much joy. I can't even thank her enough and the foundation enough for the work they do because, you know, Boo would have been put to sleep immediately um, under any other circumstance. Diana helps numerous charities beyond her own foundation. Among her many honors, Woman of the Year by New Beginnings and Philanthropist of the Year by the Arthritis Foundation. Good works on canvas, good works in the community. As a city, we rely on our volunteers and our people that, that contribute to nonprofit organizations. Uh, and we call this, you know, giving something back to the community, and she's done that for as long as I've known her. Creating artwork that spreads happiness, helping people and animals in need. A purposeful life that in turn brings the artist great joy. I think that's the best that I can ask for is that my art makes people happy. It makes me happy to paint it and if that gets conveyed to somebody else and it makes them happy in turn, that's the best I can hope for. And as to the future, embracing new ways to express creativity through dance and through writing. The rest is still a mystery, undoubtedly a great adventure, a joyful work in progress. I hope that in 10 years, my work looks totally different because I've evolved through all these stages to whatever that may be. I can't imagine what it will be, but that's, that's the fun of it. It's a journey.